following segment is sponsored by the Dermatology Associates and Surgery Center. And welcome to today's edition of Ask the Expert. I'm Shay Paul, and I am being joined by Alex Epperly from Dermatology Associates and Surgery Center. Alex, thanks again for being with us today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, it's always great to see you. Um, you know, we've been uh, having some discussions uh, this summer uh, regarding uh, skincare conditions uh, and, and problems that you see very frequently there at Dermatology Associates during these hot months. And boy, are we having some hot weather right now. Uh, you know, the last time we talked about ticks, <laughs> we're, we're definitely changing topics a little bit here. We're moving on to uh, nail care, uh, manicures, pedicures, that kind of thing. Uh, during the warmer months, you know, we're showing our uh, showing our toes more for sure with our flip-flops and sandals. So first of all, I've got a, a graphic here that shows us a little bit about the actual nail itself. Um, you you want to just kind of expand on that? Yeah. So, you know, nail care is for all health, and that's why proper nail care is, is so important. Uh, so we want to make sure that we're, we're keeping our fingernails and our toenails clean and dry. Um, uh, it is important to regularly trim those. And when you are trimming them, if you can um, cut those uh, straight across and then you can file with the uh, emery board um, to soften the edges. Uh, we wanna make sure that we're avoiding biting uh, or picking at your cuticles. We see a lot of patients that kind of have nervous habits. They'll, they'll bite their fingernails, they'll put their fingers in their mouth and they'll pick and peel uh, cuticles and then that can lead to like an ingrown toenail or an ingrown fingernail as well. Gotcha, gotcha. What about hangnails? Hangnails. Yeah. quite painful. <laughs> You want to leave the skin on there. You don't want to pick or peel because you can get a bacterial infection of the sure. nail skin itself um, uh, that could require antibiotics and also potential surgery. Okay. Now, um, again, like I said, you know, earlier, uh, we we are starting to see, of course, with the reopening of the nail salons um, here, you know, a couple of months ago, um, you know, people are, are back getting their manicures and pedicures. Do you have any... Uh, advice for our audience about precautions to take when getting those? Yeah, we want to be careful. You want to make sure that you're going to a salon that uh, properly sterilizes the instrument. Uh, a lot of times they'll have you soak your fingernails to kind of soften that nail. You also want to make sure that you're avoiding kind of manipulating or pushing back the cuticles or forcing those back with uh, break in that skin, you can get bacterial infections, viral infections, fungal infections of the nail unit itself. Gotcha. Okay. And speaking of, we have a you know real pretty picture coming up here. Um, what what is that? Is that a nail fungus on the on the toe there? Nail fungus of the toenail, yeah, there that you're seeing. So okay, so if that should occur, um, I'm sure there at Dermatology Associates, you probably see this. What what do you do to uh, to to treat it? Yeah, we see it, you know, on a regular basis. So we can take a culture, a nail clipping of that, and send it off. There are different topicals that you can use for uh, nail fungus, and there are also oral medications that we can prescribe as well. Okay, and uh, we announced this, uh, our last uh, discussion, that you now have a new location in Williamson, West Virginia, in addition to um, Princeton, Beckley, Charleston, of course, um, Hurricane, Hagerstown, Maryland. How am I doing so far? Good? <laughs> Yeah, and then Martin. There's a lot. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot. You uh, definitely have us covered. So uh, congratulations on the new opening, Alex. And thank you for being with us today. Uh, as always, um, great information. Yeah, thank Looking you. Looking forward to our next conversation.